Hey YouTubers, Jules here. It's October 7th, 2021. I got a very um, important message from the Lord. It was given to me in a dream this morning. Um, I've been spending time with the Lord all day and worshiping and praying and reading his word and digging into the word and looking into the scriptures to understand, to interpret the dream. Um, all my dreams are given to me by God. By the Holy Spirit and I'm at 217 including this one today from January 1st 2021 I give God the glory God I give you the glory for all the dreams all the visions and all the words of knowledge you've given me I could I can't do anything without you father God I I, I decided not to turn to my flesh for anything father but only to you father in the spirit and I thank you I praise you I give you glory before all men all men shall bow before you every knee shall bow every tongue confess that you are the Lord thank you amen the message um, is a good message and here it is I've got some scriptures mixed in I am going to put those into the description block um, so that you can do your own research if you want to or do Bible study it's a great Bible study tool message many are ready to serve with uprightness of spirit Bible scripture Psalm 51 10 create in me a clean heart O God and renew a right preserving and steadfast spirit within me message and along with heavenly onlookers fellow believers sheep without a shepherd the lost Many of my children are spiritual warriors. Scripture, Judges 6.12 And the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of fearless courage. Message With gifts of the Spirit for spiritual warfare. Scripture, 1 Corinthians 12.11 All these gifts, achievements, abilities are inspired and brought to pass by one and the same, Holy Spirit who apportions to each person individually exactly as he chooses. Message. This is beginning, the rising up out of the flesh and into the spirit, breaking phys physical laws. Remember, those things that you desire, your flesh desires, try to subdue the flesh. Just try to try to subdue the old man, the old woman, and, and don't let the flesh win. And this is going to get you closer to Christ the less flesh the closer to Christ that's the less that's closer to Christ you are and the Lord told me that the flesh is is part of the harvest winning over the flesh is part of the harvest not just demonic you know the demonic or the or Satan and his enemy it's also the flesh Scripture, Isaiah 40, 31. But those who wait for the Lord, who expect, look for, and hope in him, shall change and renew their strength and power. They shall lift their wings and mount up close to God as eagles, mount up to the sun. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint or become tired. Message, with a spiritual force, those who are spiritually in step, who keep rank and have the same heart. Joel 2, 7. They run like many mighty men. They climb the wall like men of war. They march, each one, straight ahead on his ways, and they do not break their ranks. Message. Commencement in seven days. Bringing heaven to earth by spirit. I'll say that again. Today is October 7th. Commencement in seven days. Bringing heaven to earth by spirit. Matthew 6.10. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven message for spiritual warfare ephesians 6 12 through 18 i'm not going to read that verbatim you can do that on your own with the message with a spiritual force those spiritually in step who keep rank in same heart scripture second king 6 16 through 17 elisha answered fear not for those with us are more than those with them then elisha prayed lord i pray you open his eyes that he may see and the lord opened the young man's eyes and he saw and behold the mount the mountain was full of horses and chariots at fire around about Elisha. Message. This is happening next in time and is the rising up out of the flesh and into the spirit. This will be breaking physical laws. 
message. Heaven's pr provision is the believer filled with the Holy Spirit. This is Acts 2, 1 through 4. Message, which is a promise of God and speaks to the perfect timing of God at the right place and right time. And this is reflective of Christ's love relationship with the church, the believer, and the believer. This is the center of God's will, a divine order, and God is deeply involved. I'm going to say that again. This is the center of God's will, a divine order, and God is deeply involved. Go tell the people to witness to the multitude of people in God's army. Seeing prophetically, this is progressing in faith, speaking the word, and then following it. Psalm 119.105 Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Deuteronomy 8.3 and he humbled you and allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna, which you did not know, nor did your fathers know, that he might make you recognize and personally know that man does not live by bread only, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. Now I'm going to read the message without the scripture, so you can kind of hear it all together. Message. Many are ready to serve without rightness of spirit. And along with heavenly onlookers, fellow believers, and actually sheep without a shepherd, the lost. Many of my children are spiritual warriors with gifts of the spirit for spiritual warfare. This is beginning the rising up out of the flesh and into the spirit, breaking physical laws. This will be tangibly seen. We will tangibly see this. With a spiritual force, those who are spiritually in step, who keep rank and have the same heart. That's the spiritual force. Commencement in seven days, bringing heaven to earth by the Spirit. Commencement in seven days, bringing heaven to earth by the Spirit. Today is October 7th. And this is for spiritual warfare. With a spiritual force, those spiritually in step and who keep rank in the same heart. This is happening next in time. And this and is the rising up out of the flesh and into the Spirit. This will be breaking physical laws. Heaven's provision is the believer filled with the Holy Spirit, which is a promise of God and speaks to the perfect timing of God at the right place and the right time. And this is reflective of Christ's love relationship with the church and the believer. This is the center of God's will, a divine order, and God is deeply involved. Go tell the people to witness to the multitude of people in God's army. Seeing prophetically, this is progressing in faith, speaking the word and then following it couple other things I'm going to talk to you about. Uh, on October 1st, the Lord gave me the dream about uh, the woman named Sharon. She was a program manager for some type of telecast or some type of radio station or, or TV station. And I looked up the name Sharon in English. It said uh, flat plain. I told you that. Now, I looked it up in Hebrew, and it means a fertile field. And actually, in Song of Solomons, it talks about Sharon. Sharon, the Rose of Sharon, and the Lord has been speaking to me about how this is referring to the lilies of the valley. The lilies of the valley are in the fertile field. The field represents the harvest, the fertile field, and they're rising up. The lilies are rising up. The, the lilies are rising up, okay? But we got to be careful because they, they might get choked by the thorns. So the Lord has been speaking to me about that also, Hosea chapter 9 and uh, there's a couple things you got to know Genesis chapter 48 how that um, Ephraim and Manasseh represent the United Kingdom and also the United States and so in Hosea he was prophesying against Ephraim which is the United States in verse 8, chapter 9, verse 8, Ephraim was intended to be a watchman with my God and a prophet to the surrounding nations. That was our intention. That was what God wanted us to do. We were supposed to be a watchman for all other nations. The other thing as for is verse 11, as for Ephraim, their glory shall fly away like a bird. There shall be no birth, no being with child. And because of their impurity, no becoming pregnant. I don't know if you've heard this, but there's been some talk about um, people are becoming sterile because of because of 
pharmacy. I'm just going to say that. Verse 12. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, so that not a man shall be left. Not a man shall be left. I've been speaking to you about where are the men. Where are the men? Ephraim, this is verse 13. Ephraim, as I have seen with tear, is planted in a pleasant place. But Ephraim shall bring out his children to the slayer. Our children, as soon as they're born, are taken to the slayer through abortion. I would encourage you to read it on your own. The Lord brought that to my attention. So, God bless you guys. Um, take care. Worship, pray, and read his word. Worship, pray, and read his word. God's doing some great things. And for him to do this on the 14th of October, that tells me that whatever's going to happen on the 15th of October is huge. God is equipping us to handle what's going to happen on the 15th. God bless you.